Hey guys, it is Wednesday still. Decided to start off where I ended the video and show you guys again all of these coach bags that I just bought last week. Well, basically it's today, but by the time you guys are seeing this, it will have been last week. All these bags for $1,530. And with the power of editing and magic, you guys will see all the bags right now. So here are... All of the bags, I took them all out of their cases, or all their, their dust bags, pillowcases, all kinds of stuff. These bags were wrapped in, but here is basically everything we got. Bunch of different types and sizes. So if you're in the market for a vintage coach bag, hit me up. But anyways, we've got a lot of coach, like this really cute coach wallet. We have even got some other things that aren't coach like this. Um... What else? Oh, we also have a bag over here. This one is Burberry, which I know nothing about. And then we have two Marc Jacobs bags right here with the dust covers. But yeah, guys, all kinds of coach. And I'm so excited. Oh, and this one's different too. I forgot what brand it is, but really cool, guys. Um, So yeah, I am actually going to... First, I'm going to figure out how much I paid per piece and get back to you guys. But also tonight, I plan to list quite a few of these. I think I want to list at least half of these before I go to bed tonight. So I will be right back. All right, y'all, I just counted up all the pieces. We have in total 38 bags, wallets, everything that we picked up. So if we take what we paid, divide by 38, it comes out to exactly $40 per piece, which is honestly a pretty good deal considering all of the larger vintage coach bags we got. So my goal now is to list at least half of them tonight, which comes out to 19 at least. It is currently 8.07, so I'm hoping to be in bed by 11, 11.30. And on top of that, I need to edit the video for tomorrow that's getting released, which technically is the video that you guys saw last week. So I'm going to get to work on that, and I'm going to do a little time lapse for y'all. I just wanted to give you a quick update. I did manage to get all the bags listed. It is currently 10.53. I did take like a 10 minute break in between, but I am exhausted and I still need to edit a video. So I'm hoping to get that done here within the next 20 to 30 minutes so I can go to bed and also figure out if I'm gonna go source tomorrow. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Thursday. 
Um, last night before I went to bed, I went ahead and made a little garage sale slash estate sale list for this week slash weekend. And um, only two sales came up for today. And luckily, one of them was actually just a few blocks away from me. So this morning when I woke up, I did sleep in a little bit because I had some trouble falling asleep last night for some reason. But anyways, I woke up a little late, got up, got ready, and I actually walked to the estate sale. Or sorry, it was actually a garage sale, not an estate sale. Walked over there, didn't find anything. So I just walked back home. So it just made for a nice little morning walk, which I never do. <laughs> anyways... Um, and then today just been working on stuff around the house really. I haven't worked on eBay stuff. Um, that listing last night really took it out of me. It was really hard to get it all done but you know listed half of them. That was my goal and we already sold a bag. So I'm gonna get into showing you guys what I'm going to pack out and ship out. Pack up and ship out tomorrow. I did not ship out any packages today. So we've got quite a few built up here. First off, we've got this vase from the Amethyst Glass Buy that sold for $13.50. I just put it as a glass slag swung vase. Next, we sold another thing from the Purple Glass Buy. These grape salt and pepper shakers, $10.80. They're supposed to have a little hanger with them, but they didn't come with a lot. So I just sold them like this. Next, I sold this awesome wizard lamp. It is ceramic and I think it is like a hobby craft piece that someone painted and made on their own. $28 for that and it does work. It's got a light inside and you can plug it in. Next for $21, we sold this vintage Milton Bradley Stuff Your Face game. It is quite large, but luckily we have a good back stock of large boxes, so this shouldn't be a problem to ship. Next, we sold a duck from the auction. This one sold for $27. And next for 21, I also sold this Exacto craft tool set. It is new in the box. And next is the coach bag that sold. We sold the coach large rambler in the color Tabic for $300. It sold overnight, this beautiful bag. And there is a strap that goes to it. It's on the inside here. And it's also got some stuffing in there to keep the shape of the bag. But yeah, I was really excited about that. So we have about $1,230 to go to break even. Then I sold this cool little Kodak color cans. I think it's just a little postcard or um, actually no, it's got stickers on this side and then you can actually like order. I don't know if that actually still works anymore. But anyways, $3.80. And lastly for $21, we sold this awesome vintage Lion King sleeping bag. It's way too big for me to show fully on camera, but there we go. It's in great shape. And it's got a couple stains, but that has been notated in the listing. And I also kind of wanted to talk to you guys real quick about um, the amount that I listed last night in the coach bags. So I wrote down here on this little piece of paper every single bag I listed. So, of course, we had 38 pieces total. I said I'd do half, so I did 19 bags. I just picked 19 random ones. And it did take me quite a bit, but we got them all listed. And I added up the total listing price like if everyone was to buy them at full asking price it comes out to five thousand three hundred and thirty dollars and that's just for half of them i'm pretty blown away um i didn't expect it to be that much right away and like i said that's only half the bags but of course there was a couple that they're a bit more rare so i did price them up like one of them i put at a thousand dollars and i'm not even sure if it's actually going to sell for that much it could sell for you know four to five hundred but I did put it for that much because a similar bag, just like it, also sold for about that much. So, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm already really happy that one sold. And I do plan to get some more listed tonight. Probably not the other half, but just a couple bags. Um, and then tomorrow, I do plan to go out and source at some estate sales. And there's also a couple other grad sales this weekend as well. So we'll kind of see, but I know tomorrow I'll definitely go source. And then we also have some options for Saturday and Sunday. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Whew. Hey guys, it is Friday and we got out and did some sourcing. I am exhausted because as soon as I got home, I decided I want to go rake the whole front yard because we have a couple of trees that produce a bunch of leaves. And I did that for about three and a half hours and I've got blisters on my hands and I'm exhausted and ready to go to bed. So before I do that, I wanted to show you guys everything I got. The first sale of the day was a little bit of a pain. It was like in a retirement community, um, but like an apartment building. And they put the address, but it was actually on the third floor and they didn't really have signs directing people where to go. Um, so luckily I messaged the lady and she said, oh, go to this store. There should be someone there waiting. 
well, when I had gone to that door, no one was there. So I went back and finally got let in. And the first thing I laid my eyes on as soon as I got in there was this. We found another swung vase and for an awesome price, $3. Just looking at this, I'm going to assume this is a Viking swung vase. Um, really pretty though. And I love this base on it. But anyways, I was really excited to find this. This was the first find of the day. And that's how I knew it was going to be a good day. And that I made the right choice of coming out to source. Also at that sale, they had a bunch of stuff priced really high. And then some other pieces priced really low. So, like, so we paid three for that. But in total, we paid seven. And these are the other two items that I got. First, I got this carnival glass type bowl. And it is a Fenton. I didn't even, like, look it up. Um, I tried and it was really hard and I just figured I'd grab it, but it is marked Fenton there on the bottom. Really cute piece. And I grabbed this. I don't know why I grabbed it, but it's a little trinket box with actual trinkets inside. So we've got a few little charms here. We got like this little flower one. I'm going to put them right back in there. Then we got um, this one that says true friends are a treasure really cute and then this little heart I think I'm going to keep it and put it on my little trinket shelf and then this was from I think the last sale of the day yeah everything was a dollar so grabbed a couple things first off I found these Harley Davidson jeans they're just plain black jeans um figure I'd grab them for a dollar and I also have a ton of jeans here still that I need to list so I'm just gonna add that to that pile and then we got a pair of big star with um a little bit of a design on the back not as sparkly as like miss me jeans but either way these are in really good shape they honestly don't even look like they were worn and lastly i found these we paid a dollar for the pair i have sold this exact pair a few times but i've never found this like yellow amber color i've sold the these in green and red next we have some estate sale finds one sale i went to I didn't find anything except for this. It's a little vintage Pokemon pencil case. You can see right there. And it's also got Pokemon pencils inside and then a little, I'm assuming this is a sharpener. I didn't even look. Yeah, a little sharpener. I wonder if it's also Pokemon. I'm trying to see it through the case without opening it. Um, no, it's actually a Disney sharpener, but we do have Pokemon pencils in there as well. So I picked that up at $4. Then I went to another estate sale and we luckily found some awesome trinkets, some weird stuff. The first thing I found, which I need to pick up right away without even looking it up, is another one of these Lake Say butter crocs. As you guys know, I had one just like this that was blue and new in the box that I had picked up a month ago, I want to say, and that one sold for quite a bit, but I think the red one might actually be more valuable and it's in great shape. We paid $8. Also found this cute little cobalt blue like house inkwell that's $2. There is a very small chip here on the top, but either way, I thought that was cute. It's selling for like 20 to 25. So I think with the chip, I'll probably list it for around 15 to 18. Next, I found this. I have no idea what it's from. This needs some research, but this little dude, the statue and, um, yeah, I Google lensed it and there were some other items like coins and stuff with this figure on it that sold pretty well. So I don't know. This is just weird. So I picked it up. Another weird thing I found at that sale is this little like Joker. I don't know if it's like a card stand, a plate stand. I don't know. But either way, $6 on that. And I did see a similar one that sold for 40 ish And then there's one currently listed, I think around 80 um so I picked that up and there was a long line so I decided to just keep looking around while the line died down and I found this and we paid six dollars on it and I was like oh what is that and I opened it up and it's got all these little tools in it I thought that was so neat there is one currently listed on eBay but it's missing some stuff and then I had somebody actually look up the a worth point comp that I saw so shout out to Teresa at Grams and Pops Vintage she was able to show me what it sold for and it sold back in like it was pre-2020 it's been a few years since one has sold I guess 
and I think it sold for like 20 something if I remember correctly I can't but anyways um, I think I'm gonna list that for maybe 30 to 40 and see what happens and then we found some awesome jewelry pieces so we paid four dollars on this and this one is Trifari a very pretty little cuff bracelet and I know it's Trifari because it says it right there in the band we also got this, um, it's weird. The, the chain has a little tag on it that says something and I could not quite make it out, but I do have a little jewelry magnifying glass here that I can look at it closer. And the heart on it, it looks like it says 14 karat on the back. Um, so this is just, I decided to take a little gamble. Oh, sorry, it's actually $4, sorry. Um, I decided to take a gamble on that. And this is weird. I can only find a Poshmark listing, but it's a little Ariat charm bracelet. We paid $6 and see it has a little Ariat charm right there. Just thought that that was weird. So I grabbed that as well. And lastly, we did pay up for this $18, but it's a sterling silver turtle pin and screw on earrings set. And the earrings alone sell around 25 to 30. So we also have a silver pin included in there as well. So I just grabbed that. Um, and that was all from that sale. Oops, I lied. I also got this really cool metal sundial from that sale for $12. I've never sold one of these before, but I thought it was so interesting. We paid $50 total for the following. This cute little miniature Disney ornament set. Perfect time for Christmas. And we got a Scentsy. Nordic Saint Nick. That one's pretty cute. We also found this. Someone donated, like dropped it off right as I was about to check out. So I decided to look through it. They let me. And I found this and I saw it was a Comic-Con exclusive action figure. Some really good comps on that. Then I saw these and I thought they were so cute. A dollar a piece. They sell for like, I think 15 to 20. Then I got this Scentsy as well. They are all in really good shape. And lastly, this Scentsy. And that is all. So yeah, um, next weekend is my birthday. So I'm going to try to list, list, list as much as I can. Um, so that way I can feel like I can take a little bit of a break <laughs> next weekend. Even though it's going to be really hard because I feel like I like to work a lot. Um, but yeah, I am exhausted, guys. I will talk to y'all later. Hey guys, it is Sunday. We had a busy, good weekend of sales and I want to show you guys everything that sold. Getting right into it, we sold these. This was actually from my art stash. I had some of these metal embroidery hoops. Got really into embroidery a couple of years ago after a friend taught me how to do it. And I found these at a yard sale and I bought them intending to use them myself, but I never really ended up using them. So I listed them on eBay and they sold for $22.15. Next, we've got a second Super Soaker. Uh, if you guys remember, I sold the other one that I had just recently, I think within the past couple weeks. This one just sold for $135. Also sold this model from the model lot that I got from that church sale. This one sold for $8. Next, we've got this adorable Disney tree skirt going out for $11. This I've had for a while and I could tell by the pictures that this was listed when I lived at the old house. Next, we sold another coach purse and we actually sold a total of three this weekend. So this one is the Coach Janice Legacy. This one sold for $95 and the strap is inside of the bag. Next, we sold this lot of two Aura 4s. You can see the little logo right there on the sticker, Aura 4s. Candles holders, uh, they're crystal for $20. Also, don't mind me looking to the right constantly. My iPad is right there that shows me the item and what's sold off of my eBay app on there. And um, unfortunately with this position, I wanted to get better lighting in my videos because the lighting in this room is really bad. Um, I have three different light sources here in my office. And um, so I'm trying to opt out of using these overhead lights and using my ring light. And I think the lighting is a lot better, but tell me what you guys think. You've got another coach. This one is an old Vintage Coach Clutch Bag 9971 is the code on the inside, and this one sold for 140 Beautiful, beautiful bag. Doesn't even look like it was used. 
I'm really happy with that coach bag buy. I'm not quite done listing them all yet, but I did list a lot of them tonight. And then a couple nights ago, I also listed a few when I had some downtime. And we have about, I want to say, seven or eight bags left to list, which I do intend on finishing that up hopefully tomorrow or Tuesday. Next, I've got this cute little Disneyland teacup and saucer set that I found at a neighborhood sale just recently. Um, actually, I'm saying recently, although it's probably been a couple months now at least, but this sold for $15. Next, I've got this ashtray that I just picked up for a dollar at an estate sale, and you can see it is really damaged, but I thought it was really unique, and I saw that other French line ashtrays sell on eBay, so I took a chance on this one for a dollar, and it sold for 89 And also, from the mystery box buy, I had this brass little um, candle snuffer. Yeah, this sold for 15 Next, I've got the most expensive Blu-ray I have ever sold. The Sealed Peanuts movie sold for $75. Next, we've got this little lantern shade. This came in the auction lot, and this sold for $8. And lastly, I actually just listed this a couple of hours ago. This Coach backpack sold for $115. All right, y'all. That is it. Um... Plan to do a lot of listing this week. I want to get caught up on my listing, hopefully before my birthday, um, just so that way I can kind of relax. But I did specifically ask for a specific thing for my birthday from my husband. And it is also something that I'm going to be able to show you guys here on YouTube. And I'm really excited about it. But you guys will have to wait um, a little bit. But just know that I'm really excited for the next video because I will be showing off this thing and you guys will also probably like it too but anyways all right y'all that is all i will see y'all tomorrow Whew. good morning guys it is tuesday um i didn't get to record yesterday because i had a really busy day um as you guys know uh, a couple months ago a month and a half ago um i told you how we had a death in the family um it was actually my mother-in-law and we put her house on the market and it already sold but in the terms of the agreement for the sale of the house we have until closing day which is actually the 29th of this month to get anything we want out of the house so I was over there yesterday helping family out and I also let Steve and Donna come over and look through some stuff to see if they wanted anything and so yeah I ended up spending a lot of time there yesterday and when I came home I was exhausted so I'm gonna show you guys everything that sold and um, I also grabbed some stuff from there and my garage is full of boxes, but I've got to go through it all because some of it is for my husband and some of it I got the okay to go ahead and resell. So anyways, first off, going out today, we've got this whole lot of Polly Pockets that I got a long time ago that sold for $10. Next, we've got this adorable set of Winnie the Pooh plates going out. I think each one's a little different, but either way, here's the back if you guys want to see that. And that sold for $24. Next is this cute little shoe. It sold for $45. This came from the mystery box bundle that I got from Omaha. Next, we've got this Jingle Bell Rock Santa going out for $20. Next, for $18, I've got this little cameo pendant and earring set. So here is the pendant. And it is marked on the back. I believe it is sterling or it is silver, but there's the back. And we have two matching clip-on earrings. I'll just show you one. But there you go. Like I said, that sold for 18 And we did sell a few coach bags, of course. First off, we've got this coach camera bag going out for 120 This one I just listed last night, and it sold within minutes for $160. I listed it a little lower because it's not as well kept as some of the other bags I got in that lot. And it does need some rehydrating, which I didn't really want to do, but it's like... I'll list it and if it doesn't end up selling I will make it a project piece and make it look all nice but I figured I would just price it as is for now and get it listed. Next off for $42 this is a vintage Chuck E. Cheese plush and the last two things we've got is this Fenton bowl that I just picked up last weekend it sold for $13 and this it also came from the mystery boxes and it sold for $7. Anyways guys that is all I'm gonna try to get that packed up to ship out all of that today and um I guess I'll keep you updated with what else I end up doing this week. Bye. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday and we only sold one item. I am pulling it right now to show you guys. I bought a bunch of these Pura Vita bracelets a while back and one sold. I've got like 
probably around a hundred of them. Um, but anyways, we sold one for $3. So that's all that I'm shipping out today.